let go. Come on. There it is. Um, I guess you will be seeing this uh, test piece again. Because I bought some more Chinese uh, inserts. And I'm dying to find out how they uh, will perform on this material. I guess I'm developing a bit of an unhealthy obsession with uh, Chinese carbide. I got this uh, spindle nose attachment that uh, came with my old wood lathe. And now I want to uh, modify it. Um, but unfortunately my boring bar is too big for the hole so I need to make another holder for this uh, 12 millimeter boring bar that does fit sure I could uh, shim it up but since I uh, have a quick change tool post on my Chinese lathe I don't really want to uh, use shims anymore Here's my uh, cutoff, still a little rough, and uh, apparently the hacksaw blade also cut into the cutoff. Um, I think this happens when the blade uh, gets dull, it uh, won't break loose. I cut off another piece, and it should look like this. This time I uh, supported the uh, cutoff with my finger just before the hacksaw blade uh, was about to break through. Now I could leave it like this just to chamfer the edges a bit and uh, use it like that. It's the easy way and uh, normally it's my way but not since I'm uh, making videos. <laughs> I guess I will be going the extra mile this time. a piece of aluminium stock and yeah, it doesn't fit some sort of dull pin does fit how do I get it out again Ta-da! I got all the chips. A face mill full of broken inserts. Okay, okay. That one can go another round. That one's damaged. And that one is looking terrible.
I intentionally fix these uh, tighter than tight because some of the inserts had a bit of an air gap which actually went away after using the face mill for the first time but I uh, kept tightening them up rather firmly Alright, I replaced the uh, two worst looking ones, the rest uh, will have to go for another round. One of these days I'm going to make a better draw bar, because this one is uh, terrible when you need to get it loose again. I'm thinking something with a uh, thrust bearing will uh, work better. Although a uh, spindle stop will also help. But that's on my wish list since forever. The last time I used these blue nano inserts on something really hard, uh, a uh, quick change tool post holder, and they managed to get the job done, but uh, lots of uh, chunks broke off. So let's see how they work on this softer steel. go for a tea break. I might be back later on. I might not. Um, I'm going to take a slow pass. Hopefully that will help with the uh, surface finish. Well, it's definitely no mirror finish, but it's acceptable. I cleaned up this edge on the grinder, and now I'm going to uh, take a bit off on the end here to remove the uh, saw blade cut.
Okay, that'll do. It's not even hot. I got a few more pieces to clean up for future projects. And this one here is for a very small boring bar holder. All for this life. Um, the backing plate for this chuck I made last year and for some mysterious reason it is uh, the most viewed uh, video by far on my channel and of course that all happened uh, before I switched on ads as you can see the uh, jaws are interfering with each other so I'll have to flip this one over maybe that one as well Turn down the chuck key a little because uh, it was uh, fouling the underside of the chuck. Uh, I mean the jaw. So now it's uh, starting to hit the other jaws. So I guess this is as far as it will go. That's pretty off-center. I'll uh, spin it a little slower this time. Same uh, tool bit as in the previous video. Just because uh, the stack of shims was still laying here. I guess one day I'm going to make a uh, fitting shim and probably bolt that uh, to the uh, tool bit. But for now, this will have to do. I'm pretty much ready to take the first cut. I think I can run the lathe a little bit faster. That should work. Um, brand new insert. Very expensive insert. At least uh, 30 cents. Alright. Here we go. Stand back. I think I can go a little faster. Finish isn't bad. Alright, I'll take a few more cuts. I think I'm a little bit too high and uh, pushing the insert over this little nipple will probably damage the insert so I guess I will have to remove a uh, shim Now it is uh, 
slightly below center. I guess I need a uh, thinner shim. Well, I don't think I have any. Although this uh, roller might do the trick. Yeah, I'm really going to make a custom shim for these uh, tool bits. Because this is getting old. You freaking shims. All the time. chips there. Glad that's over. Now the battery light is starting to blink. I guess uh, I will have to stop earlier than expected. I think there is enough juice left in the battery for one more shot. If not well, this is not going to end up in my video. It's that simple. Usually a lot of the footage I shoot doesn't end up in the video. So. If I got a little less footage, it makes editing easier. You know what? That'll do it. Maybe one day uh, I'll have a uh, surface grinder. Besides, I'm not that anal about the uh, surface finish. It's a bit like my paintwork. As long as you don't see the imperfections from a few meters away, it's acceptable. Although, I do not like these uh, rust spots. Maybe I'll uh, clean it up with some acid. This is some uh, rust dissolvent. It can do its job while I go for some breakfast. It's a very mild acid. I don't think it uh, does anything to the steel. If you can't read it. Google Translate will help you out. I started uh, working on this project this morning full enthusiasm but uh, then life happened and now the uh, rust dissolver has pretty much dried up and it's almost evening again You can still see the rust spots. It's a bit of pitting, I guess. Well, I'll uh, clean up this mess and continue with the project. Just making sure there are no uh, rough spots on the uh, underside. This is going to be the center line where um, I want the hole to be drilled 
I'm using this engineering square to line it up with the uh, uh, the bed of the lathe square to the uh, chuck check it one more time well actually I'm going to check it again after I tighten up the nut another chuck that needs to come off oh, pretty loose and on goes the uh, drill chuck arbor that uh, took me ages to make at least three or four videos if I remember correctly it's actually the same material as I used for testing those uh, small DCMT inserts in the uh, previous video I believe this was my first ever center drill that I broke a bit of uh, nostalgia Was always turning the wrong way and now I gotta find a chucky that fits I think I got one yep I'm looking at it straight from above or actually from uh, behind the pulley and I think I'm pretty much on the line now so I'm going to lock up the gibbs on the uh, cross light in case I uh, accidentally want to turn the uh, handle and now it's time to drill a hole This, by the way, is a mixture of uh, CV grease and uh, some oil without additives uh, for old timers that I just had laying around. But the uh, MOS2 particles make it uh, a bit blackish. Molybdenum probably works good with this uh, steel on steel bearings. Switching on the uh, frequency drive and uh, well let's do this backing off so I can uh, fit a drill bit uh, that should be enough. I got a uh, four millimeter drill here and it should be long enough if I don't stick it too far into the drill shock. Things are starting to grind again on the inside. Time to clear out the chips. Yep, the top side is going to hit the uh, drill chuck well here I'm going to stop well I'm going to look for a longer drill bit I think uh, something like 8 millimeter should do it an 8 millimeter 
Banggood Cobalt drill bit that has uh, seen some action. It's still working fine. Although the shank did uh, spin in the drill chuck once and it got a little damaged. Maybe a little bit slower. It drills so much easier with a pilot hole. At least now the chips are coming out. I should be close to the solid part. Well, I found the solid part. I should have backed it off instead of stopped it. Let's clear things out. Some lube. Well, let's get this finished. And there it is. Breakthrough. Up next, uh, 11 and a half millimeter, so I can ream it to uh, 12. The 11 and a half millimeter drill bit, and it's not even a Chinese one. Although there were some uh, burrs on the inside of the uh, uh, cutting uh, edge. Where the fluid begins, but I stoned those away, so it should cut like a champion. Yeah, a little faster 300 RPM. I'm looking at the amperature gauge on the frequency drive. It's reading about uh, 3 amps when I turn the uh, top slide. Um, when it goes up, it's time to uh, clear out the chips. A little bit of balance to keep the tin in place. Chips are already coming out of the hole. Small ones. The amperature is going up a bit, so it's time to uh, remove the uh, chips. The spinning chips don't really bother me, or I don't let them bother me. If I remove them, they'll be uh, straight back. Cart is almost full, and the battery light is also blinking. But there should be enough to get this uh, finished. And there it is. 
just before the cart is full or the battery empty and that was my piece of tin but the hole is drilled alright I'm going to recharge the battery they're pretty stuck on there So the flat on this tool bit is about 5 millimeters wide and I want 4 set screws, um, 2 on this side and 2 on that side and then I can use the uh, set screws to uh, change the height of the pointy bit just a little bit. Because when you take a cut with a uh, boring bar the pointy bit will be forced down a little uh, as the shank uh, torques up and then this uh, will dig in and you will remove more material than planned And now I'm going to use my scribe to punch in some center holes. It's a lot thinner than my regular punch, making it easier to uh, line things up. So I've decided to go halfway between these two scribe lines. I like that better. And now I'm going to use my regular punch. Removing the burrs from the uh, uh, punch. I had a look at my set screw boxes. These are M6 and these are M5. I think both will do. These are a little bit closer uh, next to each other, but I don't see any problem with that. So I'm going to use these. Alright, let's go to the drill press. I just had to fix my little drill press because this uh, middle pulley got stuck. Probably because I never uh, changed the belt combinations. Um, a while back I actually bought a uh, similar drill press with even more uh, pulley combinations. And it was almost uh, as new, but it had the same problem. It was used in a wood shop. And I think all that sawdust got the middle pulley stuck. I actually bought that uh, drill press for the pulleys. So I could uh, electrify my lead screw. Anyway I got the uh, pulley going again. And uh, made a nice profit when I sold it. But now I still don't have uh, pulleys for my uh, electrical lead screw. By the way I've always used the drill press with this uh, belt at an angle. So now it runs uh, 520 RPM and that's uh, between B4 and uh, C4 and I notice it's pretty close to uh, A3 
Maybe I should change to that combination. It's only 20 RPM faster. And then the belt would be running straight. Although I don't see any significant wear on the belt. So I do all my uh, drilling at 520 RPM. And uh, that's good most of the time. Although it is a bit too fast uh, when the drills uh, get bigger. So with the uh, drill press repaired I can finally drill some holes. Um, this is a 3 millimeter drill. A small drill will be easier to uh, line up with the holes. Ah, forgot to tighten up the chuck again. I do that probably once a month. Let's use some oil. I got here a jar full of oil that uh, came out of a shock absorber and that uh, I used for some other project. Very uh, light oil. Hmm. You know what? Let's uh, use the drill vise for a change. I'm not looking for a splinter. Oop. No. That was unexpected. Oil your hairs. I don't think this drill is very sharp. Oh. Let's try a different drill bit. I cannot really resharpen small drill bits so I keep a whole stash of new ones not much better this drill bit must be hard material That was pretty hard to do. Five millimeter drill bit for the uh, M6 set screws. Damn, Chucky is uh, loose. It's annoying. I don't think I need any uh, loop for this. Almost lost it there. It kind of surprised me. And now a 
bit of a chamfer. too much it doesn't matter there's enough meat left for some threads trying to clear out the chips a little bit of oil and then I'm going to try and uh, uh, ream it by hand I got the reamer in a drill chuck. It's already stuck. Okay, I'm through. I will probably have to do this again after I have uh, threaded the holes most of the uh, uh, sharp burrs are gone it's time for threading or tabbing whatever you want to call it fine with me, I'm not difficult today. The old vise could certainly use a bit of a cleanup, but once you have uh, experienced a uh, quick adjust lever, you don't want to uh, go without. Highly recommended. Although I'm not sure if they make them these days. I think this one is pretty old. Uh, I think I had it for 10 years. And I took it home from England uh, myself. Um, it was free, a gift. So I kind of had to. But I think it's the best free thing I ever got. This is a uh, M6 tapered tab. I think they also call them starter tab. I like uh, taper tabs. They uh, line up better inside the hole. A toothbrush is very useful for cleaning out uh, tabs. And now I'm going to do the other three holes. After those uh, drilling difficulties, I would have thought this uh, would be more difficult. And that's another little job finished. I'm getting close to the uh, finish line. One more little job. I'm going to uh, grind these uh, set screws a little bit uh, convex because they might not sit flat on the tool bit and this might help when uh, the tool bit rotates a little. A 
that uh, should be enough I guess so here is the finished article mine is a couple of uh, set screws there is a little bit of uh, play on the boring bar but that shouldn't be a problem let's put in some uh, set screws I'm uh, over tightening this one so the pointy bit now sits well below center height I don't think you can see this on camera but the flat hair isn't uh, horizontal it is uh, leaning towards this side second set screw these threads are a bit tight uh, probably because of the uh, black stuff that was on the set screws but it is getting better as I am recording this for the third time okay the um, pointy bit is too low so I'll loosen up that one a little bit now that one and I should be able to rotate it not enough I think loosen up that one a bit more well that's probably way too high but this uh, should be done on the lathe with a uh, reference to the center height I, I was planning to use idea. my new tool uh, to bore out this piece but uh, I just realized it's probably easier to just drill it out and uh, ream it to size don't worry I will use this on some other project at some point uh, for now I'm going to stop this has taken long enough and I should uh, do some editing that's it till next time and uh, bye for now